Welcome to the first episode of the Electronics Career Question Channel. Do you want to become an electronic technician? Now, if you want to become an electronic technician, you have to have skill and knowledge. You need to go to a school that gives you hands-on training and fixing circuit boards. You need to know the basics of troubleshooting. You need to know how circuitry works. You just need to know the basics. When you get your associate's degree, you know how logic works. You know about on and off. You know about AND gates, NAND gates, OR gates, and OR gates, um, transistors, capacitors, resistors, transformers, um, diodes, coils. All this information you need to learn in school. Fixing electronics, you'll learn that over the years of working at repair places. You're not going to learn that straight off or straight out of school. I'm going to tell you that right now. I didn't learn how to solder from college. I learned that from the job, my first job. So, let's talk about jobs in the industry. There's all kinds of different paths for electronic technicians. You can be a machine technician where you go and you take and repair the electronic circuitry on machines, CNC machines. Um, basically, you're a maintenance technician and you're not just limited to taking and replacing sensors and boards and whatnot. You are also dealing with pneumatic and hydraulic equipment as well. So there's that avenue. You have avionics, you have lighting, you have actually just a generic thing. There is a uh, biomed. You can go and work on medical equipment if you have the proper training for that. If you go into biomed, that's going to be a different story and different video. That's a good field to get into because it's not going away. Um, you can get into doing TV repair, you can do computer repair, you can, I mean, do your own home business. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do for working on electronics. A lot of people are going to be starting out and getting the interest and knowledge of working on stuff. It's probably going to be working on televisions and laptops, simple stuff. You're not necessarily... Usually, you're not necessarily going to be going, oh, okay, that chip bad, I'm going to change it. Unless this part is not something that's accessible to buy. So, I would say typical repair technicians for TV repair shops um, generally would just take and buy a new board or a used board and toss the other one away. Unfortunately, it happens. Um, but there's all kinds of different fields to get into. You're repairing of circuit boards these days is almost lawn and gun. You don't necessarily spend a lot of time working on stuff like this. So, um, you can work for board manufacturers and you can go and see where the short is in the circuitry. Say you have a, a you work for a board manufacturer and they're populating the chips and stuff, and the customer is having a problem with the circuit board, and they don't know. They're just an assembly house. They're just taking and dropping this board in another thing, and then it gets tested, and the board fails. So they need somebody to go and say, what's wrong with this? And that's where you come in handy, and the board manufacturer, and go, okay, this chip here is not to spec because... A to Z. So that's another avenue for you to go and search for a job or a career. Um, let me backpedal this. Back in 2001, they had a huge banner in my community college that said, you can make up to a million dollars in your full career working on electronics. And that full career would be within over 50 years, probably. So, 
Yes, there's money into making and to repairing electronics. You can start out in a very low wage, or you can go on the very high wage. I mean, it varies in your knowledge and a company that you work for. I'm going to have a series of videos and talked about different stuff pertaining to electronic repair and more so on just technician stuff. So hopefully, if you're watching this and you have questions, I'll post the answer or my opinion to what your questions are. I do have an associate's degree and I have 17 years professional working on circuit board repair and component level. And I've been working on this stuff since just before 2000. So 20 years of working on electronics. I did take two years in high school in a vocational school, went to state comp for a competition for vocational twice. And that was kind of fun. Different learning experiences from different stages in your life. Generally, your first job that you get in electronics is not going to be the job that you're going to have forever. You're going to get a basic job working somewhere. You could be an electronic assembler. You can be putting coils together on the machine. You can be just a helper, somebody apprentice, getting knowledge of this and getting into a spot. And there's going to be a, another position. And you'll find it. There's going to be another position out there in the second company that you're going to work for. That this first company sets you up for. So don't feel don't get yourself in a spot that you're just stagnant i worked on um, automatic door controllers for 10 and a half years if you work on electronics typically you get bored if you you know a lot of information how to fix things it's the same thing repetitively so working on electronics typically Technicians will get bored because they're not challenged anymore. So keep that in mind. Your first job or your first occupation is not going to be the one that typically that you're going to have forever. Some people do that. They may stay there and may work there for 20, 25 years. That's not typically what you find. If it's somebody that's trying to advance itself salary-wise or knowledge-wise, they will move on to a different company and see what that company challenges them for. Personal experience. Now, if you find a good job and it pays you well and you're happy there and you're not getting frustrated and it's challenging you and it's you get all your fixes from this place, then stay there. A lot of people, when they find a good place that they like, they're there for 20, 40 years. So that's typically why it's harder to get into electronic repair to somewhere because these guys have been there for years and they don't want to leave. They're happy where they're at. It's a, it's a good job and they can repair what's needed and why leave? So if you have questions that you would like to ask me about different stuff for electronic careers and a path that you should take and the knowledge of what not to get into it just send me a question or a comment on this channel I will say if you're looking to getting into a specialty field like avionics check and see if avionics has just that path just like biomed engineering had just that path as a specific training that those guys do. Now, you can get into biomed and repairing their electronics. Say you have 15 years of working on electronics of doing various stuff. You can get a level one. It's its entry level and they'll train you on medical equipment. Now, Typically, when you work on biomed stuff, just like they would in the Navy, a board goes bad, they take the board out, they put a new board in. They also work on pneumatic and hydraulic stuff. Um, very little, little component level repair. 
So if you want to take and you change out parts all the time, it may not be the path that you want to go to. So just keep that in mind. There are jobs out there. It's hard to get into, but if you can prove yourself and if you just go in there at a lower wage and you, you bust it, you, you t prove that you're wanting to be one of the best and you get all the knowledge and you train with all the people, you'll get somewhere in life. But if you sit there and you slack off and expect somebody to do something for you, you're not going to advance. It's just my opinion. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say for now. We'll get into deeper subjects in the future. I have expectations of what you need to have and how you may gain that. So please consider subscribing. I just wore this for the video. Just break the ice. This is how you're supposed to wear it. And if you're doing component level repair, this is what you could be wearing a lot. In most cases. Sometimes they have a little screen. We'll get to that later. Please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment if you have questions or comments. Suggestions for future subjects for me to talk about. I am looking forward in finding other technicians and figure out and questions that I can ask you if you can bring if I can bring you onto the channel and you can share your knowledge for future electronic technicians. Please send me a message and we'll collaborate with this. So it's just I am trying to get the younger generations involved in working on or having some kind of sense of working on electronics, get the trade back into it instead of just being a throwaway field. So that's what I'm trying to do. So thanks if you get involved with this. I really, really appreciate it.